morning, beautiful people. Day number two in Santiago. Morning. So we have a few news. Uh, yes. Yesterday we managed to put the new brake pads uh, on the front. The bad news uh, is that we found uh, two issues. Uh, if you check this video up here in Mexico, uh, we lost uh, the front wheel because there are two rings uh, who tied uh, the two bearings uh, of the wheel and uh, they also have the function of keep the wheel on the truck uh, and uh, is it is coming loose again so we we have to tie it as soon as possible because we don't want to lose uh, our wheel again uh, like it happened in Mexico because if it fall down uh, it will break some parts uh, and we will have to buy it new the second issue that we found uh, is that uh, one disc uh, is completely destroyed uh, I mean on the outside part uh, it's still okay but yes. then on the inside part where you cannot see the disc uh, is completely eaten we went to one of the best uh, shops here for brakes, so imported brakes. Uh, imported in uh, Santiago. They have different shops here in Santiago, but they are uh, just basically one company. And, they, and it is the only one where we found uh, the brakes for our truck because our truck is not, yes. is not uh, common here in, uh, in Chile. That's why we didn't change the beds before because from Antofagasta when we started to hear that something was not okay, that we need to change the beds, we should drive until here and you know we we need to break <laughs> so probably we damaged the disc or probably the disc was old the guy check uh, everywhere he call and now uh, he just said okay try to go to the junkyard or where they have like these old vehicles where you can find probably that part that you need but it's not easy guys the best part when you are in a big city like santiago is that you have more possibilities where to go and to check the worst pa part is that you need to drive to drive and sometimes one place even if you call they said yeah i have it and you go and they say oh, no sorry I, I made a mistake and you need to drive from north to south it's like 50 kilometers just i mean in the center not and there is a lot counting. of traffic <laughs> if, you, if you don't have hours. a backup vehicle or if you don't want to just to go with the uber but then they want to see the truck they want to see yeah. the part the yeah. piece to compare if it's the same so now the research is on yeah and we are also searching uh, uh, two two tires uh, for the rear axle where all our weight is uh, because uh, we are super heavy and uh, probably the tires we bought in Quito the tires uh, uh, from probably. Mexico not probably for sure they are not so strong so at least on the rear axle we need to buy stronger tires uh, so we are searching uh, what we can find here in chile eight to ten plies at least this yes. time because they they sold us the last one for eight plies but when they arrived was we checked was six and it's not enough for our, for our weight we will feel propane as well it's so difficult that you can find a place where they can refill your propane with the u.s bottles so the law here <laughs> is that you cannot refill portable bottles portable tanks uh, like the ones we are used in uh, uh, Canada or North America in general here the law is that you cannot refill it uh, so you have to bring the empty one and they give you the the full one but our bottles are completely different uh, and uh, the, the way you attach to the camper to your van uh, so it's really hard to find somebody who has the adapter to fill up our American tanks or Canadian or US uh. or they have natural gas but let's see let's start this long 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 day okay this uh, was the new tire we blew we repair we blew it again we repair again and then we blew it again so it was one of the the tires that we bought in Quito and it's too cheap there, there are some experience uh, that you only get uh, doing mistakes uh. You learn uh, doing mistakes. Uh, you get what you pay for. Sometimes when you have a low budget, uh, you try to get uh, what you can uh, to to try to you know to stay low with the prices and with the budget. Uh, 
but sometimes you end up spending more money trying to you know to get good deals and trying to be more cheap we bought two good tires as i said it's better late than never luca and i we are learning <laughs> slowly slowly we are learning less problems we will have from this point on it's better it's better and now we will have the experience for the next expeditions we'll be making in our life uh, so and we don't know where we'll be but we have many ideas and many dreams uh, many expeditions we want to do yes. so we are learning now it will be used for the next expedition. Yeah, but what we we'll learn is always be in the present. Don't think about the past, don't think about the future, or yeah, it's okay, but live in the moment, live the present, enjoy the moment, enjoy the day. Bad and good moments, but otherwise your life will just run away and you are just trying to catch up, but it's too late, so live in the present, guys. New tires uh, for the back, uh, so oh, wow. with, with these ones we <laughs> should not have problems, I hope. Let's go ahead, it was really long, like two hours just to change the tires, but it's a busy place. Now I think we will go to eat something and then we will try to find a place where they can refill our propane tanks. Even if I know that it's really expensive here, it's really difficult to find a place I would like at least to, to, to refill one bottle ah, okay yeah. guys we just refill one tank uh, because it's super expensive here but uh, it's like $30 to fill one tank and usually in the United States it's about eight uh, to ten dollars we have 16 liters it's nine eight and a half kilos we refill just one tank but uh, as soon as we will find another place probably in Argentina but at least we have propane also this one is da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Luca mechanic uh, ready to work uh. wow what a nice jumpsuit you time like... to get this new <laughs> mechanic suit uh, dirty we are in the Bottega de Marco and uh, I will start uh, taking off uh, we will have to take off the wheel and I will have to take off uh, this part uh, it's where you can uh, free and lock uh, the front wheel drive just to recap for you guys so we change the brake pads on the front wheel on my side on the right side the disc is broken so this is the first problem on this side uh, we can see the brake uh, the brakes uh, and here a little piece is missing it's really bad from the back, uh, back yeah. side we don't know if we can show it but from here I'm trying, uh, try to rotate it here you can see this is the little part that is missing but it's not so bad actually we were thinking it was worse yesterday it's really thin, thin. you can see compare Compared to the other side, uh, it's really thin. Uh, this side over here. On Luca's side, the barrier, I don't know if you remember one video in Baja California, we completely lost one wheel on the road. So we don't want this to happen again. And uh, Luca is checking this right now. We yeah, changed. It's happening the same thing. So we already know what caused that uh, and what uh, we have to do to prevent that not. Mm, to, to happen again. Yes, yeah, so we will do that. Then we bought two new tires, beautiful, BF Goodrich. And then we refill the propane. We are at Marco's workshop. I don't know if you remember the Italian guy. We stayed the first night that we arrived in Santiago. We ate the pizza together with other couple. This is the van of Close to Eternity. Because I know that we were curious about their van. This is the van. And you see, everyone has problems, not just us. Ciao! <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Really mess. We are making repairs, guys. <laughs> yeah, but this is the real life of travelers. We are doing repairs every day. Not every day, but almost. Do you have a name for your van? It's called Bento. 
which Bento. in Italian means pride. And as you can see, it's a Ford. They're changing the transmission, they change a lot of stuff and they are still waiting. And we are in the same place right now. This is what I was trying to explain. You can see here, it's completely loose. Now only the brakes are holding the wheel so there. So what's the problem, the bearings? So the problem, now I will take all this off. And inside here, there, is, there are the bearings and there are two rings that keep the wheel and the bearings close that probably came loose. I'm 100% sure because this already happened to us. Okay, so in here you can see all the bearings. These ah, are pieces of the bearings uh, no that came out. I will have Why? to take all this out uh, and clean it. Uh, what is happening this? We will see now. We will open the bearings and see what happened. Okay, guys, I took off the part. Uh, the bearings are really bad uh, and uh, Look, there is all this, this part uh, inside. Uh, we will have to change the bearings uh, and uh, everything that goes in there because it's really, really bad. Good morning, guys. Day number three. We are here, we are looking for some parts for Lucky Liu. I will explain you later. We are looking for the bearings. We bought the bearings, fifty dollars, más o menos, and then we went here in this place to see if they have like a new hub for the 4x4 and the, the new disc. No, nothing. They said it's too old. We are back home. We are back to Lucky Liu with the bearings. What me? We missed the. Uh, the disc, we need to go this afternoon at 3 p.m. at a place called Desarmaduria, that is like a junkyard. Yeah. Uh, we will see. Let's hope, guys. They said that this, we are like, like Lou is too old. They don't have, even not in the system anymore, 1990. One. Yeah. We're taking off all these parts to take off the, the disc. We, we managed to take off the bolts uh, and now we have our disc uh, here. Ready to go and uh, search for another disc. Easy peasy when you have the tools. Uh. Good morning, beautiful people. Yesterday we weren't able to find the brake rotor. So probably and even not the hub for the 4x4. So probably we will just mount the bearings today. But we don't have the tool and they don't have the tool here. So they will build one for us. After thinking and talking uh, a lot, uh, I think uh, we found the reason why this happened. Uh, the wheel coming loose uh, and the bearings uh, getting uh, destroyed and the hubs getting destroyed. Uh, is because uh, in Mexico when you tie the, the bearings uh, you have to give them uh, 10 pounds pressure and uh, the guys they didn't have the tool so they just close it just with the hammer and the screwdriver it should be perfect uh, as uh, Ford uh, tell you on internet surgery, uh, surgery. <laughs> so we don't have the tool either either here in Chile so we're building our own tool to wow, block that's it that's great let me show you. Okay, so this piece happens to be just the right size uh, that we need. So, it has to fit in here. It has to be long enough uh, to go in there. And uh, it will have to go inside this little part to be able to close it. Trey said I got style for you. They see you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. 
Take one last no one's around for you I won't stop no, 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 no. I won't stop I won't stop I won't stop no, 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 no. I won't stop He's doing a reinforce there It will be stronger Homemade uh, tool as you can see and now I just cut uh, this logo of Liu I will paint it and I will show you how it will be after I will start uh, putting all together Sarah is working the piece uh, I show you today here it is ready just for you this is what I will use uh, to close uh, these pieces as you see you need uh, to fit them exactly in here I will have to clean all these uh, nice and clean uh, to be ready to put the new bearings uh, and close them uh, properly since uh, on the other wheel the discs are completely destroyed uh, not the outside but the inside uh, I had to take off uh, the uh, the discs uh, from this one uh, to bring it with me to try and search and find uh, some discs uh, but it's impossible we couldn't find discs uh, they have to bring it from United States uh, for our truck uh, that is a four-wheel drive uh, Ford F250 in 1990 so now I will put all this together I clean all really nice and well and I I will put this together and I will start uh, putting on the bearings. Meantime, uh, Sara is working here. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing all the bookkeeping, the accounting for September, October, November and December 2019 because in January we need to have everything done. So it's already half of January. It's a long day. Yeah, it's a lot of work uh, so yes. in Italy we have a lot of bureaucracy and a lot of crazy stuff so we're doing that uh. but it's okay I think it's it's worth for us because we can keep trace of all the expenses that we are uh, having during this trip so I just need to look then in the computer and then I can do all the the math yeah so one day when we will stop traveling uh, we will yeah. know everything uh, the prices of everything we we spend uh, and uh, who knows maybe do some files uh, or something uh, for uh, travelers uh, so they can uh, know and uh, and see how much uh, you have to spend to travel like we have done basically you just get all these pins uh, you have to put it there and press them down we have eight of them uh, in a uh, in our so you just go there put them all back uh, and then you press them down and then we put the disc back together done as uh, you can see they are all pressed down ready to go the bearings are made uh, from two parts uh, this one and the other one i already managed to put this one in so now i have to fill up with grease the other part uh, this one this is how it looks uh, after putting the grease uh, in the bearing and putting the the oil retain what I usually do I put the new one uh, in uh, first uh, and then I use the old one uh, to fit uh, the new one in uh. To push it down put the new one I put the old one uh, and now I'm putting this is the right size uh, to press it down and just like this it's done uh, now it's time to grease uh, the bearing uh, and then put it in there okay beautiful people it's time to put it back there Good morning beautiful people so yesterday was dark uh, so we wait uh, this morning uh, to put the piece on. Day number five here in Santiago, trying to fix Lucky Liu and to get him ready for Patagonia. Ciao, beautiful people. Let's By the try. way, let's try. Let's do this.
is not easy like it's a 4x4 four four, so it's uh, more complicated than the 4x2 four going in it's not going in yeah it's going in or not no yeah. okay now he's in it's in Woo <laughs> don't believe it now we have to put these ones yeah and these ones have to be closer with some uh, nice strength so we built this part uh, this two we didn't have these two so with these two, we can, uh, you see, close uh, this one. Okay. okay, beautiful people. So I fixed the bearings. Uh, now luckily you is working. Uh, we tested. Uh. How's it going, beautiful people? The project for the evening is to rebuild uh, all this wood structure because uh, it broke uh, here. As you can see, it's falling down. It broke there, we're losing this piece uh, who holds uh, the wheels on there. As you can see here as well, all the wood is all destroyed down there. So I bought the 2x4, they are right here. And uh, the project for the evening is to rebuild it. Let's do it new. This one uh, worked uh, for... Uh, two and a half years uh, two years and eight months so it will work uh, till Argentina if I do it uh, new again so let's start remove everything from the air back at Marco's home Come and Luca Come what are you doing I'm uh, building the new structure back here Ooh, it feel empty like this yeah as I showed before I took all the old one and now building the new one and uh, tomorrow morning I will install the new one that's great I hope we will last again at least uh, Two and a half or three years. Uh. I think it would be strange to see the new color, like so bright, this wood, that you can see the contrast. You will see the contrast with the old wood and the new one. Yeah, there will be a few parts that I will leave the old wood, uh, so you can see the difference. But you will make the structure uh, stronger, right? Yeah, I will try to do it stronger than before, because like, now like I us. Yeah, because I saw where are the breaking points uh, yes. where they broke uh, so I will make that part uh, stronger More I will efficient. reinforce okay. and uh, where I saw that the wood is still new that is not broken I can still leave the old one Mission Patagonia almost completed Good morning beautiful people it's uh, the day after it's time to start building the new one Yo a ti te vi mami, bailabas como un ángel, me acuerdo de ese party No lo hacías despacito, no eras como Dari, eras como Badoni Ok guys, uh, I will stop for lunch uh, So a quick stop, uh, a break uh, And then I will keep uh, working uh, to finish uh, the part back I there I love it, bravo See you in a minute Bravo Lupito I'm back guys, it's time to get back to work Let's do it Bastante cari, alright. Hermoso y con tinites me gusta. Y con esa sencillez que asusta. Sabes bien cómo es que es con mi completa de cabeza a los pies. Sin effects, mami, yo te entono. Te subo el pecho y te derrito el cono. En mis historias siempre te menciono. Para esa rica. I finally made it. It's all finished. Has been a long day. But look at that. Look how flat uh, they are. They were all bending down, uh, was always touching down there. I put more reinforcers. Uh, it's nice and tight. 
also here I put more reinforces uh, down there so it doesn't uh, bend uh, down uh, because it will touch there so it will not bend down that's it good evening beautiful people we are inside uh, Lucky Liu Lucky Liu is fixed the new bearings are on uh, the hubs uh, of the four wheel drive uh, they were ruined but uh, I put it in and they are still working so we can put the four wheel drive or two wheel drive uh, so it's still working unfortunately we couldn't find the disc the front brake disc so yes the pads they will ruin really fast but we hope to be able to find and buy it in Argentina because here in Chile it was impossible to find we spent seven days in Santiago buying all the parts that we need trying to fix Lucky Liu as better as we could now it's time to to go ahead if you like this video guys so uh, please, please give us a thumbs up <laughs> and consider to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already remember that we love you we appreciate you and we hope that you enjoy our contents see you in the next one ciao beautiful people ciao Visito. El futuro bebé, ya tú sabes